the gist of it the gist of it is exactly the uh, the same uh, in terms of uh, prototype equipment and uh, it's running in a co channel deployment etc but uh, there are mentioned in the morning as to where multifier is useful why it's beneficial in extremely dense deployments when we have a large number of uh, nodes and what we can do with it so this is a uh, uh, a graphical representation of what exactly is a dense deployment. You have a large number of users and you take a look at how much is the uh, C to I or the interference over thermal, I think that's the one over there, interference over thermal of 40 dB. So uh, this indicates that it's a heavily interference limited system here. So the blue colors over here is where you don't have that many users, really it's thermal noise only, but here there's a large amount of interference. It's kind of a way of indicating that. Switch to just uh, disable that or right. click so anyway. Just click it. Yeah, yeah. So that's you just take this one out. Yeah, take it out. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, it's exactly the same picture as before. Uh, it's a different mall based mm -hmm. environment and it's a slightly different uh, configuration. But the key point, as Sanjeev mentioned, is there is no license spectrum here at all. It's purely unlicensed spectrum at this point. Uh, there was a question on what is the P cell and S cell. There is no P cell. There's only one. Uh, there's no primary carrier. There's only one carrier here. And uh, we start off by just looking at bidirectional traffic. And as always, we're going to start with every user uh, using Wi-Fi. So in this case, instead of five, there are four sets of nodes. So it's a total of eight nodes for access points and four devices. Uh, they're all using Wi-Fi at this point. Similar KPIs again, channel utilization, stepwise, what's the true throughput, etc. But at this point, everyone is using Wi-Fi. And the sum rate, just like previously, we saw that before, was about 40 megabits per second. It's exactly the same thing. Now, we are going to... Where's the mouse? Ah, there it is. I can barely see it. Ah, there it is. Okay. So we're going to switch one of the nodes to multifier. And that's this one over here. So before we take a look at what happens to that node, let's take a look at the other nodes. All the other nodes, there are three more, uh, three times two, six of them, they're all using Wi-Fi. And you can see that their throughput is either the same or slightly better than before. So coexistence is still preserved. And on the other hand, the user who switched from uh, Wi-Fi to Multifier now has a higher data rate. Uh, this is both for downlink and uplink. By the each of these bar charts, there's like a slightly more solid and a darker region over here. That's the downlink and uplink split. No change in terms of channel utilization uh, characteristics. And uh, uh, it's a fair share of the medium. So what really is the difference, by the way, between this and ELA? And why is it that important that there is no licensed carrier? So in the previous demo when we were doing, it was license assisted. So if I'm a user who's getting served, defer. <laughs> okay, no, we are good. Uh, so what's the difference between that and this? So it's only the data that's being transmitted in unlicensed spectrum in, in, the, in the previous time. But before you do that, there's, there's uh, a scheduling assignment. You're being told to transmit or receive. There's ACNAC and CQI, grants and uplink and downlink. All of those are sent in licensed spectrum. That's why it was license assisted. In this case, there's more. It's not just the data, but all the channels are going through unlicensed spectrum. There's nothing left on licensed spectrum here at all. So in fact, there's a little bit more load in the system. But in spite of that, we still see a pretty healthy gain of multifier, even for that single node. Of course, this is for this scenario. But we see a healthy gain for that user who switched while maintaining coexistence. Of course, this was one user who switched out of four. And now we can do the same thing with the second user also switching. To multifier. So both these users are now on multifier and uh, they get a fair share of the pie again. Nothing unfair about this part. Uh, 
it turns out that in this case uh, these two users are on Wi-Fi these two users are on Multifire these two users get this one was getting 16.5 and now is getting about 16 megabits per second this user is doing slightly better and these users are doing slightly better as well so the overall network capacity again which used to be about 40 megabits per second has gone up to 60 megabits per second so it is a 50 percent increase in the overall capacity uh, at this point in time of course this is like a uh, a small uh, uh, scenario wherein we have eight nodes in the same channel as you densify and you add more and more nodes into the into the network uh, the relative gains start to creep up